Before drawing the demand and supply curve, we must draw the two axes of the graph. So firstly, we start with a vertical line, which we call the vertical axis. We then add the horizontal axis. The horizontal axis can also be the x-axis, while the vertical axis is the y-axis. But when we draw the demand and supply curves, the vertical axis will indicate the price, P for price of the product. And the horizontal axis will indicate the quantity of the product. So we will label these two axes. For instance, if we're looking at the demand or supply of tomatoes, then we will write the price of tomatoes in rand or dollar or whichever currency you are working in. Then on the horizontal axis, we will write the quantity of tomatoes. Each of these two will start at zero. So this would be a price of zero as well as a quantity of zero. The price axis or the vertical axis will start from zero and then increase. So for instance, one rand, two rand, three rand, four rand, and so on, it increases as we move upwards. On the horizontal axis, where we have the quantity, we will have the same effect. We start at zero and then we move rightwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so on the vertical axis we have price and it increases as we, work, as we move upwards. And on the horizontal axis, we have quantity, which increases as we move to the right. We do not have to have these specific units. It can be 100, 200, 300. It can, for instance, be 1,000, 1,050, 1,100, or so on. It will depend on the specific scenario.